Hey eighth graders, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Reality Store Day where you get a glimpse of reality and one of those realities is that you are going to the high school in just a few months. So we have put together a great little um, video montage of all of the or most of the high school electives that will be offered to you as freshmen. Um, what you do at the high school can absolutely determine you know whether you go to college whether you go straight to work so it's a good day this reality store day is a good day to start thinking about hey what is coming in my future and choosing your high school classes is one of those things that's going to be happening very soon so in the next few days the high school counselor will come and visit you all and talk to you about those elective classes that you have um, as options as ninth graders we've put together a short video clip um, of the semesters in those areas just to help give you a description of some of the classes that you'll have as options. We hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions about the classes or what to do, I'm always available. So good luck, happy choosing. Now we're here with Mr. Tishner to ask about his class. So what classes do you have offer to freshmen? We offer auto A to freshmen. It's a 40 minute class, which is about 50% classroom time, 50% lab time which is shop. So, What future classes do you have? We offer Auto B, which is a 40 minute class, and then we offer C and D for juniors and seniors, which is a block class. So you're here for about 80 minutes total. So what like benefits does your class have? Well, you can learn to work on your own things at home if you want to, brakes and tires and so forth, or it's very employable. Um, they're looking for automotive technicians every day here in our county and surrounding counties. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Now we're here with Ms. Metzger. So what kind of classes do you offer for freshmen? Um, freshmen can typically take any of my classes that are personal finance, um, digital literacy, and even business and marketing essentials. Those are the three that I can recommend. Um, Personal finance and digital literacy are dual credit. So if you want to take those as dual credit, you can. So what future classes do you have offer? I also offer business communications, intro to management, and a co-op, as well as legal office. What are the benefits of taking this class? I think the largest benefit is that my classes relate mostly to the real world. So you get personal finance, you're learning about how to budget, how to manage your money, how to open a credit card, and all these adult skills that you need to know in the future. Thank you. You're welcome. Dual credit is a class that you take in high school that earns you high school credit along with college credit. This is a great way to get a jump start on college and it's also a less expensive way to get college credit. So we're here with Mr. Conway to yes, ask him about his classes. So what kind of classes do you offer to freshmen? Uh, we offer fundamentals A and B and CAD CAM manual programming. So you can either start out programming equipment, telling the machine what to do and it does what you tell it, or you could start out with uh, where you actually manipulate the machines yourself. So what sort of future classes could you take? I've actually got them listed on the board for y'all. Okay. I listed all 10 classes that I teach. We can video that. And uh, um, you could take them in any order you want. Actually, A and B, once you get those, you can go any order you want. You can jump around. There's no particular order. Okay. There's two different paths. There's a manual path and there's a CNC path. So after you take A and B, you're going to choose which path you go after the first two classes. So what are the benefits of taking this class? Money. You know, I, once again, on the board, I put starting salaries, how much you could expect depending on what job you wanted to do. You're going to start out anywhere in here from 18 to $30 an hour. So, you know, all the, all the classes over here, we're trying to get you a job. We're trying to get you job ready. You know, that's basically what we focus on. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm working on the mill. Right now I'm tapping and drilling some holes on a vice. 
So we're here with Mr. Cruz to ask him a few questions about his class. So what kind of classes do you have for freshmen? Freshmen, incoming freshmen will need to take uh, intro class and also floor and wall framing. We're doing something different this year, so we're block scheduling our kids that are coming in. They'll actually take two classes. So you'll have, uh, you'll be able to take intro and floor and wall framing. It's two periods, so you get like two hours uh, to take those classes. Uh, so they are blocked, makes it a little bit better. You have more time to work on projects and uh, you can uh, complete your certificate qu uh, quicker as well. So what sort of future classes could you take if you took? Uh, if you take those two classes, then you can take your uh, ceiling and roof framing class. Uh, we have an interior exterior finishing class. Uh, we also have some practicum classes. Uh, so that you can uh, spend more time uh, within the class. It's spread out so that you can t you can have four years of carpentry, so you can take me four years uh, in a row. What are the benefits of taking this class? Benefits taking this, uh, actually the benefits of taking this class and any of our hands-on classes are that uh, if you are a skilled worker, you can find work and you can find a job. Uh, also, um, uh, the degree is cheaper. It's cheaper to get a degree in, in vocational education. Uh, the time period for that, it doesn't take as long to get a degree as well. Uh, and so uh, I think now more than ever, uh, vocational class, vocational education is a very good idea. It's cost effective and some of those trades you make really good money. Uh, you might, matter of fact, in, in a year or two you might be making more money in these trades than you would be if you had a college degree. So tables are turning a little bit on that. So it's win-win. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so Lane, uh, just talk a little bit about what uh, what this project is. Uh, floor and wall framing class, right? Yeah. So what is this? Uh, just let them know what, what this might be. So we started off um, with the blueprint that we got from Ms. Cruz. Uh, built uh, the interior uh, of the inside of the room, uh, the original room. And so basically, uh, we just put it together, all working together. You know, we kind of split it up and stuff in groups and so that everybody was getting hands-on activity and stuff, so. So this is a basic, this is just a cut through of a basic plan. We just drew a circle around that plan and I said, you guys lay it out on this floor and build it. And they built it. I did not help them. They did it all. If they messed it up, then they would redo it and have to just do, start start over again. So floor and wall framing, it's just like building a real house. This, this is what you would do. Uh, this is what you would build in a real house, so for law firm in class. Can you help me? Uh. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson, it's okay. High school's really not that scary. So we're here with Mr. Bogues to ask him about his class. Okay. So what kind of classes do you offer freshmen? Uh, freshman classes, we have electrical construction one and circuits one. And uh, basically, electrical construction one is more about the residential side. That's house wiring. So uh, this is a lot of what the kids will do. They will wire up switches, they will wire up receptacles, and they'll do it over and over again uh, to get repetitive to, so they get better. So, so what are some of the, like, the future classes you can take? Uh, the future classes that I have is motor controls, uh, rotating machinery, which deals a little bit more along the line of uh, industrial or commercial, like in factories with uh, conveyors and uh, PLCs, which is a lot of what the new technology is about. So the, the students will learn a lot about that. And it, it's a little mixture. They will, towards the first of the year, they'll transition from the residential into the commercial and the industrial side. So. What are the benefits of taking this class? Okay, there are really good benefits. Uh, if you're tight with money like me, uh, I tell all of my students, I said, you know, whether you decide to become an electrician or not, what you will do, what you will learn in here is if you have a switch that goes bad in your house with your lighting, you can learn to fix that, all right? These are minimal things. As long as you are safe and you turn the power off, I'm gonna teach you how to replace a switch, like what Jonathan is doing right here. So, and also with the receptacle. Uh, if you was to pay an electrician to come out and fix a switch 
like that, which is a 10 minute job, he's probably going to charge you close to $100 or more for 10 minutes of work. So I don't know about you, but I would rather do the 10 minutes of work and save $100, right? Okay. Thank Anything you. else? Or be the person changing the switch and getting $100. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Or you could reverse it. All right. Are we good? Yep. All Thank right. you. Great. Thank you. We're here with Ms. Steersman now to ask her some questions about her class. So what classes do you offer to freshmen? Freshmen would be principles of health science. Or you could take um, body structures, which is similar to an anatomy, but I would recommend principles first year. What kind of future classes can you take? Um, those two, principles of health science, um, anatomy, we do medical terminology, emergency procedures, core skills, um, and we also offer EMT classes and we're starting a new CNA pathway. So what benefits does your class have on the student? Um, I feel like even if you're not necessarily sure what you're wanting to go into, these are good life skills just to have to learn some background in just basic medical care. Thank you. So well, let me ask you real quick. So the kids can leave the program with mm -hmm. um, what are the certifications that they can? Um, they can either be certified as an EMT. Okay. They can get their CNA, which is a certified nursing assistant, which you will need if you're wanting to go into nursing school. Um, and then if you just stay in the allied health pathway, which is just like a generalized health care pathway, um, you can get the NOCTI certification, which just certifies you in allied health. Awesome. Now we're here with Mr. Keller to talk about his class. So what kind of classes do you offer to freshmen? Uh, to freshmen, I offer a computer literacy class, which basically covers basic computer stuff. You know, it's, it's a pretty easy class. Uh, also, freshmen can also take a uh, help desk for, and uh, computer repair or two different uh, web design classes. But those are actually better for them to take as sophomores. But it is open to freshmen if they want to take them. And then uh, we've also got internet technologies, which kind of goes into the history of computers and, the, and IT and stuff like that and explores the different fields in IT is what it does. And then we've got an internship where once a student completes all four courses in e either one of those pathways, they can do an internship with me where they actually work on stuff around the school and that people may bring into the school for us to work on for them. So they get some live, real work experience in that as well. So. What benefits does this class have? Uh, well, for one, it teaches you a trade, so you know, you've got something to fall back on if you don't want to do it. For a living, you still know how to do it, so you can save yourself a lot of money by knowing how to work on your own computer. Uh, and it is a in-demand career field right now. So a recent paper I was reading yesterday came out that uh, National Survey for IT workers, the average IT person makes $113,000 a year. So. And that's nationwide, so around here might be a little lower than that, probably is lower than that, but still, you know, you can make pretty good money, you know, working in IT. And it's a job that's going to be around. Computers are always going to be around, so there's always going to be work in IT. So. What kind of future classes can you take? Future classes? Yeah. Uh, well, all the classes that I teach are actually dual credit with OCTC in Owensboro or articulated credit with... Uh, uh, University of the Cumberlands or Sullivan University in Louisville and students from there can take my classes here and then move on to there and get a computer science degree and who knows what else they can do with that after that so thank, thank you, you. Uh -huh. you're welcome now we're here with Mr. Davis to talk about his class so what classes do you offer to freshmen for freshmen we offer SMAW and GMAW that's Meg and Stitch Future classes, we offer a more advanced SMAW called SMAW Groove. Uh, we also offer TIG, which is GTAW. We offer blueprint reading for welders. So what benefits does this class have on the uh, The benefits, uh, if you take all of my classes in my pathway and get your industry cert, you can get a really, really good job when you leave here. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.
on, Riley, let's go back to the high school. Let's go. We're making our walk back to the high school from the vocational school. Y'all have got to see all these exciting electives offered to freshmen through seniors uh, when you get to the high school. And now we're going to get to see some of the high school electives. But as you can see, it is raining just a bit. But that is one thing you have to deal with if you take vocational school electives. <laughs> we can now tell you from first-hand experience, it's not fun. <laughs> But if you, uh, if you want to turn and look at the, the building, this is right behind the middle school. Some of you may or may not have seen that building before, but there it is. <laughs> you can stop it anytime you want. So we're here with Ms. Blaker to ask her a few questions about her class. So what are classes like for freshman students? In our Ag Department here at the high school, we really encourage students to start out, or our freshman students to begin with Principles of Ag. Our Principles of Ag class starts with what is FFA, what are SAEs, we do some leadership development, we learn a little bit of parliamentary procedure, and then we dive headfirst into the different aspects of the agriculture industry. Animal science, plant science, a little bit of record keeping, some ag mechanics, so we get to spend some time in the shop doing some small shop projects um, over the course of the, or towards the end of the year. Also includes um, a little bit of environmental science and um, wildlife, things like that. So we really do the broad spectrum of what is the agriculture industry. We're in the classroom, we're in the greenhouse, we're in the shop, so lots of different places. So what sort of future classes could you take? We offer two pathways within our ag program. You can either go plant or you can go animal. Our plant classes consist of intro to greenhouse, greenhouse production, landscape and turf management, and then a class that we encourage seniors to take is crop tech, which is a dual credit class through Murray State University. On the flip side for our animal pathway, we offer small animals um, tech, which is all things dogs, cats, rabbits, birds, etc. So if you want to be a vet or you really like animals, that's a great direction for you. Um, we offer equine science, which is all things horses. And then some classes for our upperclassmen include advanced animal science, which is dual credit through Murray State University, and veterinary science, which is also dual credit through Murray State University. So what are the benefits of taking this class? Um, our pathway offers a broad spectrum for anyone who's interested plants, animals, whether you want to go into a career related to the agriculture industry or whether you're just interested in plants and animals, you want to have pets at home, maybe you like livestock, maybe you have livestock at home, or you like to garden, things like that. In addition to um, our coursework, we have FFA where you can develop leadership skills, where you can develop communication skills and become overall a well-rounded student. There's also lots of scholarship or opportunities excuse me, for FFA members, travel opportunities to various conferences and leadership workshops. So lots of opportunities for any student who might be, in, might be interested. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now we're here with Mr. Hillard on site in the greenhouse. So what kind of things do you do in the greenhouse? Well, we have uh, three classes that come out here. We have our introduction to greenhouse class, uh, we have our greenhouse class, and then we have, uh, this is our landscaping class. And this is getting to be the busy time of the season. Uh, we've got about a thousand ferns uh, that we grow out here, and then we propagate uh, foliage plants, and we do uh, vegetable plants, and lots of different flowers. So over the next couple of months, uh, we do a lot of work, a lot of seeding, and getting ready for the spring plants. Over here, over here, we're mixing up some uh, soil right now uh, to plant some flowers. Uh, we're going to be planting some pansies today. Uh, these, these tables have our seed propagation tables. We have four different uh, varieties of flowers uh, that we planted in here this week. Uh, we started on Monday. Uh, we planted uh, these 15 flats. They're on heat pads. Uh, the heat pads will provide 90 degree bottom heat for the uh, for the soil, keep the soil temperature up so that the plants can uh, germinate. Uh, and today we have some of our first seedlings just breaking through. Uh, these are marigolds. Uh, they'll be flowers, and they just uh, started uh, sprouting today. So in a couple of a uh, couple more days, these will be uh, big enough to start transplanting and putting into uh, two packs. 
uh, so they can be prepared to be marketed for spring. So we're here with Ms. Mike Pence to ask her a few questions about her class. <laughs> so what kind of classes do you have for freshmen? Like oh. For freshmen we have Visual Art 1. It's the only art class that uh, freshmen can take and it's pretty much a prerequisite wow. for about half of the other art classes. <laughs> so um, what sort of future classes could you take? Um, with me you can take Ceramics 1, 2, and 3. Um, and you can take Visual Art 2, which is what we're in now. Um, and then your senior year, you can take AP art with me if you want to kind of lean towards the three-dimensional part. And then Ms. B has a variety of other classes you'll hear about too. So what are the benefits of taking these classes? Um, there are actually quite a few benefits of particularly the three-dimensional art. Um, there's a lot of problem solving, um, a lot of kind of critical thinking, thinking outside the box that will help you regardless of your career. So, if, and if you're going into any kind of hands-on career, um, definitely the ceramics will help because it's, you know, all hands-on. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now we're here with Ms. Bell Hassan to talk about her class. So what classes do you offer to freshmen? Um, my freshmen will usually take Visual Art 1, and that is a class where they get to experiment with a lot of different media. So we'll do um, some drawing in there, some painting, and some sculpture. What benefits does this class have? Uh, benefits of this class will um, it will help you become well-rounded in different areas of art and then it will also tell me which direction you'll need to go in as a sophomore or an upperclassman such as drawing painting or photography and what future classes do you offer um, um, I offer drawing painting or photography and then even seniors are able to take AP which is a college level course um, which can give them college credit thank you thank you're welcome you. Okay, this is a mixed class. This is a painting class. Anna have an AP student who is in this class. This is a work she's working on right here. You want to tell them about it, Carolyn? It's just a, f a friend of mine and her boyfriend. Is it watercolor? Uh, it's watercolor felt pens and with pen. a mix of uh, acrylic paint pen. Acrylic paint pen, okay. All right, and we have, this is painting class. A painting class student here, we're working on self-portraits, which is one of the harder projects of the year. So we have these here. Let's go back here. This is a group of AP students, and one's working on a portrait, and one's working on um, what are those cherry blossoms. Yes. All right, and back here is a group of AP students. We have one uploading photos on her phone to the AP platform. And then we have some working on photos or working on bookwork. So we're here with the aviation teacher, Ms. Quisenberry. So Ms. Quisenberry, um, what sort of classes do you offer to incoming freshmen? Um, I currently teach Aviation 1, which prepares students for actually getting their pilot's license and get their private pilot's license. We're also currently looking at getting your uh, license to fly drones. That's a possibility as well. You can get career ready in this. You can also, at 16, get your license in drone certification and actually make money doing this. Currently, there are jobs in the area that hire people to fly drones, so you can actually make money part-time. So what's this class like for freshmen? Uh, the first class, you actually learn a lot about, you start basically at the very, very beginning with uh, some Greek mythology and go from Daedalus and Icarus, and we end up with current aviation technology. Right now, the students are studying about weather patterns and looking up things on the internet as far as how to read the data. And we're doing case studies of plane crashes, what caused the plane crash, and you're actually going to watch video of a plane, a plane crash and determine what caused it. it. Was it a pilot error? Was it technical error? And then you are actually gonna tell me what caused that plane crash. So what are some of the benefits for taking this class? Uh, currently, they are, have a shortage of pilots. We're producing fewer pilots than we ever have, so there are multiple job opportunities in aviation. The average pilot for UPS, for example, co-pilot makes around $200,000 a year. UPS pays their actual head pilot $300,000 a year. Um, if you want a job, there are, are tons of scholarships out there. In fact, many airlines will go ahead and pay for your college 
if you'll turn around and sign on with them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here's some things that you'll need for your high school survival kit. So number one in your high school survival kit is pencils, because you gotta have them to write in what's high school without pencils. Next, highlighters. <laughs> you gotta have sharpies because you gotta keep your notes pretty. Next, a folder. <laughs> you gotta have some folders because you gotta keep all your papers organized and put together. Next, Lysol. You gotta have Lysol because you don't want to get sick and you gotta have everything smell real good. Next. A helmet. I mean, you need a helmet because you can't get your head shoved in a toilet. <laughs> Finally, shoulder pads. You need these? Keep you protected from all them bullies. <laughs> Thanks. We are here with Miss Hansen to ask her some questions. So what would like a freshman take here at high school with your class? So next year, as an incoming freshman, there are a couple of different options that you could take. First, you could take life skills. Life skills is kind of like the umbrella class. Um, it offers a little bit of foods, relationships, um, goal setting, child development, uh, fashion interior design. So it kind of encompasses everything. Um, and if life skills is what you like, then you could also, after you take life skills, then you could go into the culinary career pathway or the fashion interior design career pathway. But also as a freshman, you can take the early lifespan parenting class. With the early lifespan parenting class, which is what I teach, uh, that's where you get to take the babies home and actually experience what it's like to be a mom or a dad for six days. Um, and you also get to figure out what it's like to be a preschool teacher. Because what you all would get to do is plan lessons for three, four, and five year olds. And then we invite those three, four, and five year olds into the classroom and you all get to do your lessons hands on with the kids. Um, and then from the early lifespan class, then you can take child development services one and two. And that's where if you want to be an elementary school teacher or a preschool teacher, you actually get to go out into those settings and work as juniors and seniors. What future classes does this hope? I think I just answered yeah, all those so. questions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you are interested in working with kids, great classes, even if someday you think you might want to be a pediatrician or a beautician, Early childhood is a great class to take. I always give the example of uh, my daughter when she was three went to the doctor and the doctor asked her on a scale from one to ten, how bad does your ear hurt? Do you think a, a, a three year old is going to know that? No. But if you all take this class, you're going to get into the right direction of knowing what to expect when you work with kids. Raylan Prather to the office, please. Thank you. Raylan Prather. So with that, or with the uh, parenting projects, one of the projects that you'll do is take home the, the fake baby or the real care baby. Uh, this is what he or she will look like. Uh, you do have diapers. You have to change their diapers, even though they don't really pee or poop. I always get that question. Uh, you do have a bottle that you feed it with, and you have an ID bracelet that you have to keep your hand on your, on your arm all the time because you are the sole provider. Uh, you will notice that he is supporting the head, which is great because if you don't, that means you're going to break your baby's neck oh. and the baby will cry, which is a bad thing. All right. We're here with Ms. Schultz. She's a Spanish teacher at the high school, and we're going to talk to her about some high school classes. So what kind of Spanish classes could I take in my first year? First year as a freshman, you would normally take Spanish 1 if you have no previous experience. So if you have a little bit of experience, you may uh, need to check in with the Spanish teachers and see if maybe you could go into Spanish 2 or 3, but as a Spanish 1 student, you're going to learn basic vocabulary, you're going to be talking all about yourself, your family, what you like to do, things like that. So what sort of future classes could I take as far as Spanish goes? Here at this high school? At this high school, we have, we offer all the way up to Spanish 4, so that allows you to, if you want to sign up your freshman year for Spanish 1, you can continue Spanish 2, 3, and 4. I teach uh, the upper level from Spanish 2, 3, and 4, and I teach it uh, not as a knowledge-based class, but as a skill-based class. If you think about skill, playing a guitar, or um, let's say, what else? Playing a guitar, playing a musical instrument, uh, growing something, actually hands-on things, that's how we do it here in my class. So we're actually practicing and we're doing skills, which is practice every day. So we're listening to music, we're singing music, we're playing games. Things like that. So what are the benefits of taking a foreign language class? Uh, taking a language means you can communicate. So that offers up 
more people that you can communicate with and everyone has uh, neighbors and co-workers that speak another language and if Spanish which is very popular around here and in most parts of the world and especially in the United States then that offers up more friends that you can have you can text in Spanish you can uh, I know a lot of my students have actually gotten jobs when they put on their application McDonald's Walmart they'll put in the skills section they'll put no basic Spanish or can converse in Spanish and they've told me that they have gone straight past the interview process and they were hired because of that or they were asked in the interview process if they would be comfortable using just some basic Spanish and when they say yes some of them get paid five dollars more an hour I've heard and, um, and they get uh, that's a, I think that's an awesome benefit. So you can get a job, and sometimes jobs are very competitive. So you can get a job if five other people are wanting it. That's a skill that you have. Uh, so friends, uh, it's a great it's a great skill to have along with another career path. So that another language, whether it's Chinese, whether it's Spanish. Uh, if you have that, just like in the job, if you're going for business with a business major, you have a Spanish minor, and they know that you you might be able to speak to some Spanish clients, then that may get you the job there as well, make you more valuable as an employee. Now we're here with Sergeant Warnock to talk about his class. So what class do you um, provide for the freshmen? Well, I teach uh, the first year JROTC program, uh, and I also have the fourth year students in here that act as mentors. Uh, it's primarily a leadership development program where we teach theor theoretical leadership um, at the entry level. Uh, it's comprised of classroom instruction two days a week. Two days a week we do physical training and then one day a week we do a uniform inspection. What future classes does this provide? Well, it depends. If you stay in the program, you can do it for four years. Um, most students do it at least two uh, because this class also provides you with your PE credit and then the second year provides you with your health credit so that knocks out those two electives that you have to have. Um, sometimes we'll get students after that that'll stick around, you know, the ones that are showing leadership potential will stick around for a third year and then they will advance to the fourth year um, with the Colonel's permission. Hey, there's the Colonel. <laughs> uh, so like what are the benefits? to the students that take your class? Well, primarily they learn, I think the biggest benefits is you learn how to handle yourself as an adult, number one. Number two, uh, time management skills is big. Study, uh, study skills is pretty big. How to handle money, um, keeping a checkbook, um, learn about like percentage rates and things like that. Uh, but I think overall the biggest thing we teach you all is how to function as a member of society in a leadership capacity and prepare for a higher education if that's what you want to do. So if a student, do you think, does a student have to be interested in the military to take ROTC? Absolutely not. No obligation to join the military. You can do one year, you can do four years. We get a lot of students that have nothing to do with service after it. Um, we do have, you know, there is a small percentage, it's about the same percentage as the high school, you know, student body as a whole. Um, that will enter the service. Um, we've had a couple students get four-year scholarships to the universities. Um, we've had a couple go to Murray, a couple go to Western. They've gotten JROTC, or excuse me, ROTC scholarships that provide 100% tuition, books, fees, and um, and their uh, housing. It's worth about $88,000. Thank, Thank you, Sarge. All right. Okay, so what we see here is a weekly uniform check performed by the higher ranking students in JROTC. They will go through each of the cadets and ask them questions. If they don't get their question right, there they go, doing push-ups. Um, so they go through each one of those individuals to do that, and then they will go through and check uniforms and hair. You can see them looking very closely at the the boys to see if they're clean shaven and give them suggestions if for improvement. First squad, at ease. Second squad, attention. Yeah. 
So Riley, we've gotten to see a lot of great elective options for you as a ninth grader. What do you think of them? I'm really excited about all these interesting classes and I'm ready to choose mine. Well that's great. There are so many great options. There's something out there for everybody. Let's go back to the middle school.